Hi everyone, this is Nat from Studio Hacks and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use iTunes on a Mac computer as a free audio converter to convert a WAV file to an MP3 file. Now I did do a previous video on this topic about two years ago, so this is the updated version for 2020. I am using a iMac and the Catalina operating system and it's no longer called iTunes, it's actually just called the Music App. So what I've done is I've uh, opened up the Music App and what I want to do is I've got these three files here. These are just, this is actually the same file named three different times. It's just my voice saying this is a test recording. So what I want to do is convert this WAV file, which is an uncompressed full quality to a compressed MP3. There's one setting that I have to change first uh, in the music app. So if I go to the main menu here to music and select preferences, you'll notice here that we have a number of options, general, playback and files is where we want to go. So this is a bit different to the old version of iTunes, which is why I'm doing this updated video. Uh, we have import settings here. So if I click on import settings, there's a default converter uh, or encoder that if you were to plug in, uh, or if you were to put in a CD, if you still have those, uh, it will encode using these options. Now it has AAC, AIFF, which is very similar to the WAV, Apple lossless encoder and the MP3 encoder. So I want to make sure that I have this MP3 encoder selected. And then it also gives me a choice with the quality, good quality, high quality, higher quality. Uh, if you know anything about MP3 files, you know that is not the highest quality, 192 kilobits per second. Let's see whether it will let me change this in custom. There we go. So this usually, um, if you're using any converter, it will allow you to go up to the maximum quality, which is 320 kilobits a second. You will get a bigger file size. I tend to use 192 or 256 kilobits per second. Let's select this really nice high quality and I'm going to select the sample rates here. Oh, let's just leave this on auto. I'm pretty sure that will just select uh, 44.1 kilohertz, which is the standard CD audio. Although if you know anything about the sample rate and bit depth, you can, these days we tend to usually only use 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz. Um, higher if you're using a, um, if you've got like a really high quality system that can actually go higher. Um, but for general use, we're just gonna leave this on auto for the moment. So uh, let me now select OK and OK. So now we are ready to do our conversion. It's really easy. We're just going to select the file that we want and we're going to drag it in. Make sure that you're not on full screen. If you hit this green little uh, button here, you'll be on full screen. So I want to make sure that I'm not on full screen so that I can drag something off the desktop. And then where it says library here, you'll notice when I'm, I'm still clicking and I'm holding down the mouse here. So when I hover over there, you'll see that little box appears. I'm just going to let go and it's going to add that to the library. Now, all I have to do is click on this here and then you'll see that um, we now I'm able to highlight the file, which is only um, four seconds long. And then from the file menu, I then go convert and I go create MP3 version. This will create this an, is a test. It'll, it'll automatically play when you do that. That's me saying this is a test recording. So um, to find where that file is, I just have to right click here and then select the show in finder option. And it, it usually, if it's a web file, it has no metadata. So it will end up in your unknown album folder. So you'll see here that this was called test recording one. Uh, and then because I dragged it in before I created this video, it's created a second version called one one. And then here is the MP3 version. So um, I can just grab that and do whatever I want with that. Now I'm going to delete all of these um, and show you how you can do a batch recording, a batch conversion rather, which means you can convert a bunch of files at once. 
So I'm going to go back to that first screen. I'm going to undo what I did by deleting that song. So if you have a whole lot of files and you want to convert them all, you can just grab them all, drag them all into the library, and then it will go one, two, three added today. And I'm going to close this one. So I can just actually drag a box around all three of those and go file, convert, create MP3 version. This voice. And then right click on, uh, well, actually I can't do the show from finder here. I actually have to click on it first and then right click on this little panel here and go show in finder. And it should now bring up that folder there, unknown album. And you'll see if you go by date modified, you might have a lot of files in this folder if you've been adding a lot to your iTunes library. So I just go by date modified and it will bring the ones from today all the way up to the top. You'll see there are the three uh, web files that I had. And then those are the three MP3 files that I created. So it's a really simple free way of converting WAV to MP3. Um, there are a couple of other ways to convert WAV to MP3, um, which I might go through in another video, but just quickly now, uh, one of them is the Pro Audio Converter, which is a fairly cheap, this is a paid uh, app for Mac. And then there's also uh, some great online converters. Uh, one is called onlineconverter.com. So you can convert, you know, audio files from one format to another. Now, um, I did mention that you can convert um, all sorts of different files. So I'm going to show you how you could perhaps convert an MP3 to a WAV file. I'm going to drag these MP3s out onto the desktop. And I'm going to try and converting one of these to a WAV. So all I have to do is from the music and preferences, um, where I had the import settings selected as uh, MP3 encoder, I can change that to a WAV encoder or WAV. I don't, I still don't know what to call that. Uh, so click OK. And now what I can do is I can drag an MP3 file in to my library. Let me go back out to the library. I'll just cl actually clear all of these out to avoid confusion. So let me now, sorry, just drag that in. So it should, there we go. So that is an MP3 that I've dragged in. Now I can select it here by clicking on it and I can go file, convert, and I can select create web version. You will also notice that uh, you have an option um, to select ID tags here. So that's entering the metadata for the MP3s. So if I click create web version, you see here, I've already got that uh, unknown um, folder open, which is in the iTunes directory. I can probably see where that directory is by clicking here. Yes. So you can see that it's actually under uh, your username under music, music media and unknown artist. If you want to know an unknown album, if you want to know that file path, so then I now have the web version. So that's how you, this is an updated video for you uh, in 2020, how you can use your iTunes, well, which is now called just the music app on a Mac as a free audio converter. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you found it valuable, make sure you subscribe to the channel for future videos and pop on the notifications bell. And if you have any questions or you are having any problems with what you've seen in this video, leave a comment and I'll get back to you and see if I can help you out. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.